Greetings to our MITx MicroMasters learners from all around the world. My name is Dana Doyle, and I am the director of the MITx program from the Office of Open Learning at MIT. It is my pleasure to host you today in the celebration of the completion of your MicroMasters. Congratulations. Today, we are celebrating 1,642 MicroMasters learners. 819 of you have earned your MicroMasters credential in supply chain management, 195 in data science, economics, and development policy, 63 in principles of manufacturing, 494 in statistics and data science, and 71 in finance. Now, I want to note that the finance program was launched during the pandemic, and they are now welcoming their first cohort of MicroMasters micro credential holders. We now have almost 1.3 million learners from almost every country in the world enrolled in our MicroMasters courses, and a total of 5,802 people have earned their MicroMasters credential, including you. Congratulations again to the 1,642 people for their MicroMasters accomplishments. We're very thrilled to have you join the MicroMasters credential holders community. Now, if you're not aware yet, the MicroMasters credential holders can now claim affiliate membership of the MIT Alumni Association. You will also be eligible for the affiliate membership benefits. Please look for the invitation from the MIT Alumni office in your email. So we now turn to our celebration. Today, you will hear from leaders and learners from all five MicroMasters programs. And at the conclusion of today's celebration, we will be honoring all 1,642, I love saying that number, of you by showing all your names on the screen. All right, so let's begin. Our first speakers are Dr. Chris Kaplis and Dr. Ava Pons from MIT Center for Transportation Logistics. They lead our MicroMasters in Supply Chain Management. Chris? All right, thanks, Dana. Um, first, congratulations to all of the MicroMaster credential earners and especially for those who did in supply chain management, which is the program that Ava and I created. Um, you should feel very proud because um, this means that not only have you excelled and done very well at the general, at the graded assignments and the exams, but you also survived 80 plus hours of having to watch me on video and you didn't fall asleep too many times, I hope. Um, I'm gonna turn it over to Ava now, but let me just say, congratulations. I'm so proud of your achievement. Ava? Thank you, Chris. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our community of MicroMaster credential holders. My name is Eva Ponce. I'm the executive director of the MITx MicroMaster program in supply chain management. And I want to take a moment to just congratulate you and your families. We know how many hours, nights, weekends you have spent in completing this program. On average, 18 months through this journey. And this is, this is a lot of work and we know that. That's why we are very proud of your achievement. And to make you and your loved ones, your family members, your friends, even more proud of this achievement, let me share with you some of the relevant statistics about the MicroMaster program in supply chain management. You are now part of a, a huge community of credential holders in supply chain management, almost 4,000 holders from 125 countries, truly a global community. In terms of what we are celebrating today, we are celebrating today the cohort, the ninth and 10th cohort. In terms of the average grade for the comprehensive final exam, the last exam that you completed with us, I'm very proud to announce that those of you who completed the program last November 2021 and in May 2022, you scored the highest average grade for the comprehensive final exam. Congratulations on that. Your average grade was about 78%, 76%. Congrats on that. And we're celebrating today 819 new credential holders from more than 80 countries. So happy to welcome our learners from China, from Australia, from Nigeria, from South America, from Europe, from the uh, United States, from many different countries. Congratulations and welcome to our community. Um, I love statistics, so I love to share these statistics with you. For these 819 new credential holders in supply chain management, 
all, more than 60% of you score between 80 and 100%. This is demonstrate grit. This demonstrates a lot of effort and also a deep knowledge in supply chain fundamental concepts. In terms of gender, we have about 20% of female completing the program. I would love to see more female uh, completing the program in the future runs. And regarding the age group, uh, most of you are in between 24 and 40 years old. Again, uh, I just wanted to congratulate you once more and also on behalf of my team. Definitely um, myself, my team, we are really inspired about the amazing community of learners that we have. And now we are going to learn from a couple of learners from the MicroMaster Program Supply Chain Management. Let me introduce to you first, Ms. Rafia Malik. Rafia lives in Pakistan and works for Nestle as a technical business partner. Rafia, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Um, good evening, everyone. It's evening time in Pakistan. Um, thank you so much for the lovely introduction. Yes, I'm currently working with Nestle Pakistan right now in supply chain operations. Um, I'm working in the capacity of technical business partner, which is primarily um, procurement, which has to order all the CAPEX and all the OPEX operation um, strategies as well. Um, that is what I do right now, but I can tell you a part of my journey that is you know, that, that that has the biggest milestone of this program that we're talking about right now, which helped me where I am. Um, I'm an architect with my bachelor degree and working in an architecture industry later on, I realized maybe that is not the passion that I would like to pursue. And then there's one fine day I stumbled across a post in on LinkedIn, which told me that there are hundred, um, there is a magazine poster that goes around with hundred women, female supply chain leaders. And Dr. Eva was one of them. I saw her or somewhere. She kind of inspired me and I shifted my career to supply chain. I worked in Philip Morris. I worked in Engro Polymer and now I'm working with Nestle. But this one program, which I started in 2020 um, during my full time job as well, has helped me to achieve those jobs that I always wanted to get, gain in supply chain operations. So um, it's a lovely program. It's been um, very, very thorough. It teaches you all the guidelines that you need in any um, industry that you want to go forward into all the analytical abilities. Um, the most important thing that I did during that was I've also worked in the capacity of CTA, which was the uh, community teaching assistant. That is a very good learning platform. It goes both ways. You tell other people and they uh, you've learned from other people. Um, and it has helped me a lot where I am right now. Let's see where the life takes me forward. But, you know, um, this part of my professional accomplishment where I've gained the credential is one of the biggest and most uh, fulfilling thing that I have on my CV or my life right now. Good luck to everyone who is part of it and whoever aspires to be part of it. Uh, best of luck. Thank you so much, Rafia, for your kind words and also for sharing your exp experience and journey with all of us. Now we are going to hear from Andrew Mong. Andrew will join the Supply Chain Management Blended Program at MIT this January. In January 2023, he's going to spend one full semester in order to earn also his degree uh, in Supply Chain Management at MIT. He wanted also to continue with his academic career, which is also a great, um, a great thing. Uh, he currently works at Wafer as a software engineer. So thank you, Andrew, for joining us today, and the floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Ponce. That was a great introduction. And thank you, Rafia. That was an incredible story. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my fellow MicroMasters learners, and congratulations on this great achievement. I'm Andrew Mohn, a student from the Supply Chain Management course. I started this course over two years ago after looking for a quick and easy way to learn some new knowledge and skills for an industry that I found interesting. It was not quick and easy. After five classes, hundreds of hours of lectures, dozens of pages of notes, and countless late nights completing homework or studying for tests, we've finally crossed the finish line. All of you can be deeply proud that you've completed a program that has a depth and rigor that truly lives up to the MIT reputation. Supply chain management, data economics and development policy, principles of manufacturing, statistics and data science, and finance. These are key fields that humanity needs to get right for our shared success. 
and all of you are now well on your way to be leaders in these fields. This completion celebration is not the end of our journey, it's just the beginning. Through this program, I've grown to be much stronger in my career. I've found a passion that will stick with me for life. And I think least expected to me, I met friends from around the world. The MicroMasters program is more than a series of online classes. It is a rich community of teachers and learners that I'm honestly honored to be a part of. To everyone building the MicroMasters program, thank you for the incredible effort you've put in to give this program a polish that truly puts it in a league of its own. To my fellow CTAs, thank you for the hours you volunteer to moderate forums, answer questions, and foster a community that helps each other when we get stuck. And to my fellow students, thank you for going on this adventure with me. Congratulations again. All right, thank you, Rafi and Andrew. Next, it is my privilege to introduce Dr. Sarah Ellison and Tan Nguyen from MIT Economics Department and j the, J the Jamil Poverty Action Lab. They are leaders of the Data Economics and Development Policy MicroMasters. Uh, Sarah, do you wanna take it away? Uh, thanks very much, Dana. Uh, I have been teaching at MIT for three decades, uh, give or take, and it won't surprise you uh, to hear me say that our MIT residential students are extraordinary. It has, however, been one of the great privileges of my career to teach the distance learners and now to be leading the DDP master's programs. So uh, unlike the residential students, you have not gone through the same intense and rigorous vetting process, uh, but in many ways you are more extraordinary. You have completed these very dense and difficult courses without the same social and institutional supports and networks as our residential students have no in-person office hours, no dorm-based study groups, no academic safety net. You have done it largely on your own. I don't wanna minimize the support of your families and family and friends, but you have done it largely on your own and I am in awe. Now, however, I wanna give you a different charge. You have achieved this milestone and gained this knowledge on your own, but I want you to use it to build bridges, uh, to make connections and to form networks. We have, we sincerely hope, uh, given you the tools to affect change in the world and to do real good. But that is not a solitary endeavor. You will do great things, we expect no less, uh, but you will not do them alone. Um, let me close by saying uh, that I'm not typically uh, very involved in the day-to-day -day logistics of running my MOOC. Um, I'm only vaguely aware when a new term starts, for instance, um, but I always know when a new term or when a term ends. I receive a flurry of LinkedIn invitations, uh, often accompanied with kind notes. Uh, these, are, these not only bring a smile to my face, but I see them as a first step towards these wider and deeper connections that I'm talking about which I hope all of you will pursue and nurture uh, your entire lives. So thank you, congratulations. Let me say also on behalf of Abhijit Banerjee, uh, Esther Duflo, Ben Olkin, uh, Tan Nguyen, Davis Hannaford, our whole team. Uh, we wanna uh, wish you the warmest congratulations. And uh, now I think I pass it on to Tan. Are you able to see my screen? Well, thank you, Sarah. And hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tan Wing. I am the program director for the MicroMasters in Data Economics and Development Policy. And it is such an honor and a great pleasure for me to be here today to congratulate all the new MicroMasters credential holders, and in particular, to our new credential holders from the DDP program. Uh, also, a huge welcome to the families and friends who are here with us today. Uh, for the credential holders, I hope you all take a moment to reflect on your education journey through the DDP MicroMasters and to recognize this great achievement that is an illustration of your tremendous commitment and perseverance in pursuit of the knowledge and skills that will accompany you in your quest to do good in the world. Um, just to give you some additional context about the DDP MicroMasters program, um, we're proud to share that 
2022 is actually the fifth uh, year anniversary of our program. And to date, our courses have been enrolled in about half a million times across 50,000 learners. Uh, we've awarded close to 10,000 certificates and 800 credentials. Um, and I mention that because I want to take this opportunity to celebrate the diversity of learners who come from the 214 home countries. You all come from different educational and professional backgrounds with more than a third of our learners identifying as female or other. And 62% of learners come from low to middle income countries. And as a program that focuses on development economics and poverty alleviation, we strongly believe in the need and the power of a student body with demographics that reflect society at large. And that's a goal that we continually strive toward. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to recognize the 194 learners from around the world who obtained the DDP MicroMasters credential in the past year and who will be joining the ranks of the DDP credential holders. Um, whether you have been engaged in development work for a long time now or just entering the field, um, we are so excited that you've achieved this milestone um, and we wish you all the best in your educational and professional pursuits. Um, we hope that you will continue to use the lessons and tools from these courses to continue to better the lives of millions around the world using data and evidence to inform policy. Congratulations again. And with that, I'd like to introduce a few of our DDP learner representatives. First, we have Luisa Cerca. Uh, Luisa is from Portugal, but currently lives in the UK. Oh. Oh, sorry about that, uh, who currently lives in the UK and works in impact investing. Uh, we're excited that she will be joining the residential DDP master's program at MIT next year. Um, in the past, she has done research on the impact of different payment plans offered to maize farmers to reduce seasonal hunger. And with that, I'll turn it over to Lisa. Hi everyone, um, nice to meet you all and thanks for that introduction. Um, so first of all, I just wanted to say congratulations to everyone and all, as all for having completed the MicroMasters. I think it's really nice to be celebrating it together here. Um, as Tan said, my name is Luisa and I'm from Portugal and I've been living in the UK for the past 10 years. Um, and as, as mentioned, I also did the data economics and development policy MicroMasters or DEDP, uh, and I've been asked to share a, bit, a little bit of my experience today. Um, so I started doing it in June 2017, so it's taken me quite a long time and I really took advantage of the flexibility of the program, which I think is great, um, while doing my full-time job, so it worked really well, um, and I just completed the final two courses this January. Um, and to prepare for this event today, I was kind of looking back and reflecting on what made the program so special to me. Um, and really what strikes me is the exposure that we get to such impressive professors. Um, and I really think that we are taught such a really high quality and well-rounded program that really felt like we were on campus as well. So I think it's really cool that we get this exposure to such smart people and such interesting material, really no matter where we are in the world, as just, just was shown. Um, and then finally, I think I think it's also really cool that we get the opportunity to pursue the residential masters at MIT, um, which I find mind blowing and I'm super excited for. <laughs> um, so yeah, overall, um, the micro masters really was a life changing experience for me. And I just wanted to say a big thank you um, to MIT and more specifically to the professors and the TAs and the entire DDP team for all the help throughout. Um, so yeah, just to close, congratulations again to everyone. Congratulations, Louisa, and thank you. Next, I'd like to welcome Andrea Salem from Switzerland. He recently graduated from the University of St. Gallen with a bachelor's degree in economics and was recently accepted into the public policy and development master's program at the Paris School of Economics. Andrea, over to you. Thank you, Tan. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here today with you. I think that uh, what we have accomplished, uh, because now we are credential holders, it's really great and we should not be taken for granted. As Tan said, I graduated from the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland in economics, and um, I pursued and recently earned as well our beloved MicroMaster in data economics and development policy. Personally, this uh, program has really impacted me a lot uh, academically, professionally, because I worked uh, three months at the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation in the Global Program Water, as well as my private life, uh, since I am pretty sure that uh, every single one of my friends, uh, as of today, they know who Esther Duflo and uh, Brigitte Banerjee are. <laughs> 
Um, so it was in 2019 when uh, the Nobel Prize for Economic Sciences was awarded to our instructors that uh, uh, a previous interest I had in the field of development and cooperation blended with a passion I was about to discover in the field of applied economics. So regression analysis, data analysis, I really discovered thanks to the 2019 Nobel Prize as well as this micromaster, how we can use such methodologies and scientific work to fight poverty, basically. And this, I think, is one of the most, uh, it can be one of the most uh, honorable uses of one's intelligence, probably. So I hope that uh, every single of us uh, will uh, be able to use in the near future, possibly near future, what we have learned and put it to good use uh, out in the field. I think that this uh, shared interest that brought us all to complete this program uh, really will make our path cross in the future, probably, because uh, as we are seated here today, all together from all over the world, uh, we can see that, that this world is really small and, um, and it's a great uh, pleasure to be here today <laughs> with you again. So hope uh, I wish you all good luck in your future endeavors to everyone. Okay. Thank you so much, Andrea, and congratulations to you. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to introduce Rohit Tripathi from India. Rohit will also be joining us next year in our residential DDP master's program at MIT. Uh, Rohit has transitioned from a career in engineering and currently works at the Indian Ministry of Information and Broadcasting as a deputy director. Over to you, Rohit. Thank you, Than, for that introduction. Uh, I Firstly, would add my compliments to all my fellow credential holders. Uh, most of us had full-time jobs. Uh, we had families to support. And many of us, unfortunately, have known grief in the past couple of years. And it's no easy feat to balance all of that with uh, learning new stuff. Uh, well, not unless you're Sam Gallup. If you're Sam Gallup, you take all the courses that MIT has to offer, and then you say, is that all you've got? <laughs> That's uh, too much of an inside joke right now, but we have fortunately Sam with us and you'll hear him soon enough to know what I mean. Uh, you know, my father tells me that my grandfather got his bachelor's degree at the age of 54 by enrolling into evening classes at the very same college where my father was pursuing his bachelor's at the time. And uh, I sort of always felt like I was carrying on that family tradition when I used to sit with my three-year-old daughter for her Zoom classes in the early, early uh, mornings and they'll try to learn the basics of statistics uh, late into the night. And, and whenever she would wander into my room, whenever I was trying to do this, she would, older, she would invariably ask me, why don't you ever answer your teachers? Why don't you ever talk to your teachers like I do? And I couldn't make her understand that I am able to talk to my teacher. Uh, because even a child understands that uh, just watching a YouTube video is not really learning. So I would thank the entire MIT X team, uh, Davis Than, of course, uh, for creating a platform where we could talk to our TAs, our community TAs, and uh, where we could perhaps more importantly, converse amongst ourselves and learn from each other, from people around the world, and where a community of like-minded people could be forged. I would also thank uh, MIT faculty for creating these evening classes uh, for us uh, so that anyone in the world with a curious mind and an internet connection can pursue their dreams. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, back to you, Dana. Excellent. Thank you, Lisa, Andrea, and Rohit. It is now my privilege to introduce Professor Dave Hart and Dr. Aditi Joshi from the MIT Mechanical Engineering Department. They are leaders of our principles of manufacturing micromasters. Dave, over to you. Thank you, Dana. And uh, let me say it's a pleasure to be with all of you uh, here today. I will add my congratulations to all of the credential holders that are here today. But of course, uh, in particular, our principles of manufacturing students. Um, we're delighted, as you should be, at what you've accomplished because we know that this is a rigorous curriculum. We know it because you tell us that and your predecessors have told us that. And of course, that you made great sacrifices to complete the program. And I want, to, want you to know that these classes are the very same classes that our on-campus students take, of course, modified to put them online. And we hear likewise from our students on campus that they are very uh, challenging. 
So congratulations on that part as well. But now that you have this, cre uh, this credential, um, we do have a new set of expectations for you. We want you to not only become a leader in this new generation of global manufacturing, but to become a teacher. And um, I hope through this program, you see that really, we really have defined a profession of manufacturing. Um, uh, and so I think as you look forward to all of the changes that are going on in manufacturing, particularly the exploding use of sensors, data, and computing, you realize that these principles uh, that you have mastered with our program are really timeless uh, and, and will serve you well regardless of where, you're, where, you, uh, where your career goes. So again, congratulations to you and please keep in touch. We look forward to hearing about how you're going out and changing the world. Uh, now let me turn it over to someone who I'm sure you all know very well, uh, Dr. Aditi Joshi, who will tell you more. Aditi? Thank you, Dave. Hi, everyone. My name is Aditi Joshi. I'm the program lead for the Principles of Manufacturing program. First of all, congratulations to all the credential holders and their family and friends. Um, we know that it takes a lot of hard work, dedication, commitment, and support from your families to complete this program. And we are just so happy and excited to be sharing and celebrating your achievements today. So congratulations. Um, I would like to share some demographics uh, about the program and this cohort of our credential learners. So the Principles of Manufacturing program has over 187,000 total enrollments, out of which uh, we have 5,811 unique verified learners. The program now has 179 total credential holders, and these learners are from USA, Canada, India, China, and over 50 countries across, across the globe. This cohort of uh, our credential holders, you guys are mostly in the age group of 25 to 40. And a lot of you come with a background of a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. Some of our credential holders continue their studying and education with a master's degree at MIT or some other pathway schools, or you end up taking new jobs, roles, and responsibilities so we would like to give our best wishes to all of you for your bright future. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our faculty members who have created and built these courses, our wonderful MITx staff who are always available for any kind of assistance, our old and current course teams, and last but not the least, our wonderful community TAs who voluntarily take out so much of their time to help their fellow learners. Thank you for, for all your efforts. Now I would like to introduce um, two of our credential representatives who will be sharing their experiences with us. Uh, let's first hear from Abdullah Khudari. Over to you, Abdullah. Thank you, Dr. Aditi. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Abdullah Al Khudarib. I'm a chemical and pharmaceutical engineer from Jordan, and I'm currently working as a quality specialist at the Dental Learning Factory. Taking this MicroMasters was one of the best decisions I have taken in the past few years. It enabled me to not only find a new job, but also prove myself rather quickly there I was, as I was able to initiate a new statistical process control procedure for one of the processes. And I still, do, and I still use the knowledge I learned in this program on a daily basis. It also resulted in sparking a career change. It gave me direction and re readjusted my ambitions in something I'm extremely interested in, and I'm forever grateful for that alone. It also played a huge part in an online master's degree application I recently submitted, as it proved that I'm able to handle the workload of studying online while also being employed full time. And I'm very excited to share that I received an unconditional offer this past month. This program also aided me in starting my own little online clothing brand. The supply chain courses, as well as the management courses were of extreme value. And they still use Professor Jack Derby's writing the winning business plan to this very day. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, this experience developed a number of crucial skills that I utilize in my everyday life. It made me more disciplined, more determined, 
and improved upon my time management, critical thinking, and analytical skills. It wasn't easy. There were loads of late nights, challenging assignments, and in my personal case, a few tears here and there. Um, it pushed me in ways I didn't expect, but I can easily say that without a shred of doubt that it was absolutely worth it. I'd like to end by congratulating my fellow classmates on this achievement. Each and every single one of you should be extremely proud of yourselves. And I want to say a big thank you to all the faculty and staff for this wonderful experience. I believe I speak for everyone when I say it ex exceeded expectations, and that's all thanks to you. Um, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Abdullah. It was so nice to hear from you. Um, our next learner is Jane Motes, who is also our blended student. Over to you, Jane. Thanks, Aditi. Hi, everyone. I'm Jane Motes. I completed the Principles of Manufacturing MicroMasters and um, again, want to congratulate everyone else. As Professor Dave Hart said, we did have some very challenging courses, but we all made it through, you know, mostly on our own. So we all deserve a, a big pat on the back for that. I'm originally from Michigan in the United States and earned my bachelor's in me mechanical engineering from the University of Michigan, but now I live in New Mexico. Um, so the hybrid program allowed me to ease back into classes after a few years away from school, find a good use for my time during peak COVID when you know we couldn't really go out and do anything, complete classes during a cross country move, during ski trips and several other vacations all while maintaining a full-time employment status. This program was also a catalyst for me to complete my master's. Um, so as Aditi said, I'm now a blended student. So I'm uh, working to complete the uh, master's of engineering program in advanced manufacturing and design at MIT. And the micromasters allowed me to get credit for the first semester's worth of classes so that I only went on campus for um, one semester and now I'm back at my job completing my thesis project. Professor Dave Hart, who you heard from earlier is actually now my thesis advisor. Um, so it was a little jarring for me to meet everyone who I watched hours and hours of videos online in the first time, um, but has definitely been a worthwhile experience. Um, so I'd like to uh, you know, say thank you for putting this program together. The, I'm so glad that the program was challenging and worthwhile, but also had a ton of flexibility to allow us to, you know, keep living our normal lives while going through the program. I'd also like to give a special thank you to Aditi. I've sent you countless emails and I know you were always there um, no matter what time of day or which class it was. So thanks for your patience, patience and support throughout all the classes in the program. And thanks to my family for their support um, during this time as well. So congrats to everyone. I'm glad we can all come together to celebrate. All right. Thank you, Abdullah and Jane. It's now my pleasure to introduce Professor Devarat Shaw and Dr. Kareen Chu from MIT's Institute for Data Systems and Society. Devarat and Kareen are leaders of our MicroMasters program in statistics and data science. Devarat? Uh, th thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Let me make sure that so if I get my slides up here for a second. Uh, 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 first of all, congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, especially to the graduates of MicroMasters in Statistics and Data Science. Uh, I can tell from my experience by both watching and observing that you guys have gone through a way tougher and very rigorous uh, education program than a typical on-campus student because typical on-campus student primarily studies the program that she or he is in. Uh, you guys have a lot more happening in your life at work and many other things that we, we would ever never know. So congratulations again. Uh, what I want to do is just briefly tell you a little bit about the Institute for Data Systems and Society where the MicroMasters in Statistics and Data Sciences hosted and uh, why it is central to the mission of the institution. So, uh, IDSS, Institute for Data Systems and Society, was set up to address complex societal challenges. Uh, and to address them, we wanted to bring together both education and research at the intersection of statistics, data science, information and decision science, and social sciences. So very multidisciplinary across schools uh, at MIT. And statistics and data science is its core, and that's where we have uh, 
we have set up uh, the 21st Century Statistics and Data Science Program. And as a part of that program, uh, there are a collection of education uh, programs that we offer at undergraduate and graduate level within MIT. But MicroMasters is a unique for us in the sense that through this, we are able to take the gate to the MIT education away from physical campus to simply your ability to perform well. And again, congratulations to all of you that you have completed this uh, really difficult, challenging, and uh, hard program. Uh, this program enables you and provides all sorts of great benefits. But one of the things that I feel that it enables us to do well is to build what I would call a data enabled data savvy modern citizens. And really our hope is that we are doing our role in uh, bringing the right culture to the society in this unusual times where we are overloaded with information in all forms and our ability to understand the impact of that information that needs us appropriate education. Okay. Uh, again, through the program, your ability to go through uh, different next steps, advancing your career, gain skills, uh, masters through various uh, universities, including your credentials counted at MIT. And last but not the least, my hope is that this will make you a better uh, citizen and bring the right changes going forward. So congratulations again. Now it's my time to introduce you somebody you already know extremely well, Dr. Karin Shri. Hi, congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Professor Shah. Um, I would like to acknowledge all of your exceptional commitment and perseverance to complete the demanding MicroMasters program, and of course, especially the statistics and data science MicroMasters program in a completely online environment while fulfilling all of your other obligations. Um, unlike in an on-campus course where there's intermediate, immediate access to peers and instructions, instructors, learning online does require, as you must already know, another level of dedication and determination. So let me uh, tally up what you have done. Uh, throughout the last uh, 18 months. So you have completed four courses that are equivalent to graduate level courses at MIT. And each of these is four months long with 10 to 15 hours of commitment per week. You have thought through um, more than 80 full lectures from professors at MIT, and you have completed more than uh, 1,200 challenging problems, including theoretical problems, conceptual problems, and coding and project questions. And at the end, you have recapitulated, recapitulated and also demonstrated your understanding from the you know, whole program throughout the 18 months in the final uh, proctored exams, which consisted of four MIT level exams. So here are some statistics uh, for my program. You are now one of 400, sorry, 948 credential holders from 82 countries around the world. Um, our credential holders have different level of education, a wide ranging uh, uh, representation from different industries, including you know, IT, uh, oil industry, uh, medical investment, we have 550,000 total enrollments. 38,000 of them are verified unique enrollments and uh, enrolled learners represent 195 countries. Here are the list of countries. We have um, credential holders from Ukraine, credential holders from Peru, credential holders from Italy, from Taiwan, Poland, everywhere in, uh, in the world. Of course, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the people who uh, made these uh, make the MicroMasters program. Professor Shah, who you've just heard from, is the mastermind behind the whole MicroMasters. And we bring here today our greetings and blessings from uh, the instructors of the course, whom you must be very familiar with, Professor Regina Barzilai, Professor Tommy Yakala from the machine learning course, Professor John Sisiklis and Patrick Jaye from the probability course, Professor Philippe Goulet from the statistics course, Professor uh, uh, Sarah Ellison and Esther Duflo from the data science, uh, data analysis course, and also Professor Stephanie 
uh, Yayaka and uh, uh, Caroline Eller from our other uh, uh, statistics, sorry, data analysis course. It takes many graduate students, uh, undergraduate students and postdocs to contribute to make the online version of the course. And I would also like to thank the different teams who make the MicroMasters uh, you know, known to the world, who make the operations on edX smooth, who uh, support all our learners through their questioning and our engineering team for you know, doing anything that is needed for, for, tech technical, uh, for technical purpose. And of course the IDSS team for you know, running and operating uh, uh, this program. And now, you know, back to you. We also must thank our community TAs who have put countless hours into uh, helping uh, other learners and contributing their own thoughts into the form. form. So finally, congratulations once more to our credential holders. Um, you know, regardless of your education background, you have prepared yourself and persevered in your studies. Uh, regardless of your geographical locations, you might have had to overcome techno technological hurdles. And despite your professional, educational, and personal obligations competing for your time and attention during the 18 months, you have accomplished what you have set out to achieve when signing up for the first course. So we look forward to hearing more about your future success and congratulations once more. So now I would like to introduce our three learners representatives who will uh, speak on behalf of, uh, of this class. So first there will be Danielle Kapani and then followed by Tatiana Harasimova and finally, uh, Jahaira Foretta. So Daniel, to you. Hi, good morning, good afternoon. My name is Daniel Kapani, I'm from Italy and for me it's an honor to be here represent a student. I work for an energy company and basically my work is to make forecast on demand, supply, sales and CM analyze operational performance and metric and optimize business process and operation. Let me see that in addition, machine learning is acquiring an increasing weight in terms of investment in your project. So, see that. This statistic and data science program give me, first of all, a solid background on the subject, but give me also a set of tool very clear on uh, what uh, to apply on the different uh, analysis and machine learning need that I have in my day-by-day -day job. Understanding also what are the pros and the cons of the different uh, instruments that I can learn. And finally, this course gave me some very clear and useful example of real, real life application of this, uh, this new knowledge. So what impact have this one on my job? Basically, now have the, the ability to perform analysis also by myself, to perform, uh, to de develop a new model, make analysis, apply uh, in the right way, also the right tool. But at the same time, I have uh, the knowledge to interact in the more wide environment, to interact with um, developer, data science, external university, external company. And finally, I have the, the solid background to give me also the, the, the knowledge to deep dive new subject also by myself. So continue to increase my knowledge and my, my skill and new area and extend my, the, the possibility to apply this, uh, this new skill in a uh, in new horizon, let me see. So I want to congratulate all of you for this uh, very great achievement. And I want to also thank all of you for uh, the, the great networking because our chat was uh, an incredible resource in terms of knowledge, in terms of passion, energy, sometimes also fun. And so thanks a lot and congratulations. Tatiana. Thank you, David. Daniel. Yeah. Greetings from Ukraine and thank you so much for this opportunity to tell my story. Several years ago, I was the CEO of an educational project. We prepared students for our national standard city. We work hard on the effectiveness of our teaching, so we tracked many metrics during the preparation time. At that moment, I realized that I had data for more than 1,000 students, but I didn't have enough knowledge about what to do with it. So I started to look out where I could fill this gap. After reading many reviews and suggestions, I chose 
the micro master's program in data science and statistics. And it was a really great decision. As an educator with PhD in mathematics, I thank all of you for creating and supporting this high quality program. I registered for the final exams just a few days before the Russian invasion of my country. But you know, we are a brave nation. So sitting in the bomb shelter, I decided that the aggressor and the war could not squash my dreams. So without any expectations, with air alarms, I passed the last exams. I want to thank all countries supporting us in these hard times. Now I am a part of a research group working on trade-offs in the fairness and accuracy of the mile models. So believe me, dreams do come true. I congratulate all my fellow learners on this huge step in their careers. And I want you to dream big. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, Yahara? Yeah. Hi, everyone. It was an uh, inspirational story, Tatiana. My name is Yahara Huerta. I'm from Peru. And I will tell you about my story. I decided to participate in this MITx MicroMaster program in statistics and data science because I wanted to change my path career from data analyst to data scientist. And I would like to share with you that I've been accepted to work as a data scientist in Peru. So to all my to all the learners that I that heard me, so that is possible. And also I noticed the real impact of this program through expanding my networking, receiving class from an MIT professor, and learning real world applications. So I think that it, that it was a fantastic path. Finally, so I would like to congratulate all my peers who can complete this hard program as all learners did, especially to my cohort three from Aporta in Peru. And thanks also Aporta for the support to complete this hard program, also to merge the social impact with the data analysis. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Daniele, Tatiana, and Jahaya. It's now my pleasure to introduce Professor Leonid Kogan and Dr. Igor Madeviev from MIT Sloan. Leonid and Igor are leaders of our MicroMasters programs in finance. Leonid? Thank you, Dana. Uh, let me start by congratulating all MicroMasters credential holders, and in particular, the inaugural class uh, of the finance MicroMasters. I am Leonid Kogan. I'm uh, the faculty director and a lecturer in the Finance MicroMasters program and the professor of finance at MIT Sloan. I have been teaching uh, at Sloan for over 20 years now, including our Master of Finance program. We started our residential and film program in the aftermath of the global financial crisis. Uh, it's been 10 years now, and our program is now a leader in its class. We are thrilled to be able to share the core of the Infin program with the global learner community. And it is only fitting that uh, we are starting the finance MicroMasters uh, in the midst of the global pandemic. On behalf of all the faculty who had the chance to work with you, let me say that we feel excited and privileged to help guide you on this journey. What you have accomplished is uh, truly impressive. You've completed a course of study uh, from one of the most competitive master programs at MIT. And uh, this is a testimony to your determination, curiosity, and the power of the global learner community to take on challenges in a mutually supportive, collaborative, and encouraging manner. Looking forward, there'll be no shortage of challenges. High inflation and market volatility, fiscal challenges are keeping things interesting in the current environment, uh, but going forward, I'm sure there will be other problems for us to solve. The foundation you've developed in the MicroMasters program will serve you well, both in your careers and in your further learning. Again, congratulations. It's been a fantastic experience sharing some of the finance MIT tradition with all of you. I now turn this over to Igor Matveev, who is our program director. Thank you, Leonid, and hi, everyone. My name is uh, Igor Matveev. I'm the director of the MicroMasters in Finance program. On behalf of the entire MicroMasters in Finance team and everyone who contributed to the development of our courses, it is my pleasure to congratulate all of you on earning the MicroMasters credential in finance. 
we know how hard all of you worked and what it took to pass our exams and courses. You should be very proud of this achievement. Congratulations. I would like to share some data and uh, statistics on our inaugural class of uh, credential holders. Um, we have uh, in our inaugural class 71 credential holders uh, representing 29 different countries. We have uh, 12 credential holders from US, five from Peru, four from China, followed by three from uh, Argentina, Japan, Canada, Singapore, Spain, India, and Colombia. This is a truly international uh, community of credential holders that we have here. Um, the average age of our credential holder is 31 years old. 70% are working professionals in the age range from 26 to 40 years old. 25% are 25 years and and or younger, and we have uh, three credential holders who are 41 years old or above. Similar to geography and age, we have a uh, very wide representation from uh, industries and companies. We have uh, 14 learners uh, who come from finance, banking, or insurance background, representing companies such as uh, Allianz, uh, Swiss Re, Two Sigma, and Goldman Sachs. Eight learners are from information technology sector, followed by industrials, materials, oil and gas, consulting, and so forth. Six, uh, six of our um, learners, so credential holders, were actually uh, students at the time of uh, program completion. So congratulations one more time on this amazing achievement. And now I would like to introduce our class speakers. Uh, first is uh, Nader al uh, Atawi. Now there is a Bachelor of Science student in finance at the Applied Science Private University in Amman, Jordan, and has served as um, our community teaching assistant in uh, two courses. So Nader, please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Igor Medvedev. Uh, greetings, everyone. It is such an honor to be here. Uh, first, I would like to congratulate my fellow MicroMasters credential holders. Uh, the hard work have finally paid off. You should be very proud of yourself. The Finance MicroMaster program has deeply influenced me on a personal and a professional level. I started this program just before I started pursuing my bachelor's degree. The program was very tough and challenging, and the amount of hours I had to put in while studying for these courses has pushed me to the edge of my capabilities and created new horizons. At the start of the program, I lacked confidence in my abilities, but MIT have taught me otherwise. And although I finished the program, uh, daily dedications and perseverance toward great accomplishments are now instilled as core, uh, as core traits of my personality. And that's why I'm currently pursuing the statistics and data science micromasters as well as the CFA program. And on a professional level, uh, this credential has helped me start a quantitative analyst role at Mercurian, a fintech startup in Jordan, where I am researching high frequency market making. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to my family and friends, uh, especially my mother for her uncon uh, unconditional support, and to the many amazing friendships I made uh, throughout this program. To mention a few, Devin Velicha, who has been an inspiration, Sir Frozen Man for helping me uh, push through the program, and Tisha Shank, who has been a mentor. Uh, last but not least, I would like to thank the lovely finance team, uh, the teachers for the amazing lectures and recitations. I keep coming back to them whenever I am studying for CFA or preparing for an interview, especially the recitations uh, Dr. Igor made in the Foundations of Modern Finance courses. Um, back to you, Igor. Thank you, Nader. Uh, next, we have uh, Shashank uh, Malhotra. So Shashank is uh, Vice President of the Financial Risk Management Department in the Bangalore office of Swiss Re, uh, where he manages a team of uh, model validation analysts. Uh, Shashank also served as a community teaching assistant uh, in, in, in our program. Shashank? Thank you, Igor. Uh, excited to be here. Uh, first of all, thanks to Sir Tim Berners-Lee for creating World Wide Web, without which experiencing such learning would not have been possible. Um, and congratulations to everyone who earned a MicroMaster credential, and special congratulations to those who completed the finance MicroMaster's program. No other cohort will be able to say that they were the first one to earn this credential. 
Uh, many of us uh, discussed about how hard the program was, but by now I hope many of us have also realized how relevant it is for a career in the financial industry. So thank you MIT for putting such a wonderful program and making it available to everyone in the, in the world. Um, uh, every bit of it is extremely well well constructed. I personally benefited immensely from it. They were useful in, in filling the gaps in the subjects that I already knew, uh, but also in building a solid foundation for, for the things that, that I was not so familiar with. Um, um, I'm, now I'm able to appreciate many financial models that are deployed in the industry even more. Um, the program was virtual, but through discussion forums, I was able to make connections with, with fellow learners, which then led to many real-time interactions. We had a study group, which met every single Sunday throughout the program. So a special shout out to my study group members, without which I would not have done as well as I did. Um, I hope our friendship will outlast our fame. Uh, and my last message, um, although the program has ended, uh, but probably for many, the journey into this complex world of finance has just started. Um, They're looking for their first opportunity to get a practical exposure. So if you can help them in this regard, please do so. A uh, small help can go a long way. Thank you. Uh, with that, you are back to you. Thank you, Shashank. With this, I'm turning this back over to Dana. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Nadir and Shashank. And last but not least, I wanted to introduce a MicroMasters learner who has completed not only the finance program, but also the DEDP program and the data science program. Um, and referenced earlier, so I guess this would be the inside joke that was mentioned. Uh, Sam Geller is currently a research manager at Two Sigma based in New York, where he manages a global team of data scientists and engineers doing a range of quantitative research projects. Let's hear about his journey with us. Sam? Thank you, Dana. Hi, uh, MIT X faculty, staff, TAs, and fellow students. I'm Sam Galler, and I am very honored to be here today to celebrate the accomplishments of this truly global and outstanding community. For many of us, the past two years have challenged us testing our resilience in the face of isolation, grief, and uncertainty. Today, we gather to acknowledge the inspiring dedication that it took for all of us to complete these many rigorous classes over many years. From speaking to many of the fellow learners along the way, I know that we made time alongside full-time jobs, family, formal study, and other commitments. On so many occasions, what helped me carry onward through each of these courses was simply knowing that there were others out there striving alongside me. Whether it was seeing a great question in the discussion forum or a humorous thread or someone asking how we were expected to make progress in a course without a progress bar, I could feel at every moment that I was part of an amazing community of passionate and curious learners. So first, I would like to thank the faculty and TAs who put in countless hours to make these courses accessible to people all around the world. Your deep expertise and talent for communicating complex ideas made these courses so rich and enjoyable. It's amazing to see all of you here today after watching so many lectures and recitations over the past two years. I feel it's a little bit like watching the Oscars and seeing all of your favorite celebrities in one room. And I'm guessing that all the other uh, MIT credential, of, of the uh, other MIT X credential holders, there might be some people who understand this joke, but outside of this, uh, this group, <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't quite work. Uh, second, I would like to thank the many other learners, including many of you here today, as well as those who are uh, maybe listening who are just along for one or two courses. We made it through years of problem sets, midterms, and proctored exams, and we pushed ourselves and each other to do our best work. I sincerely hope that you will use the knowledge that you've gained in these courses to work on the many important problems that we face in this century. For me, the micro masters programs were transformative, both intellectually and professionally. They taught me about how to think and learn independently. And I know that many others have had similar experiences across these programs. So just to conclude, I wish all of you here 
the very best on your next steps. And I hope that we will cross paths again someday in the future, whether online or in person. Let me know if you're in New York City and I'd love to take you out for a coffee. Congratulations again to everyone. And I salute your passion and dedication to learning. Thank you and back to you, Dana. All right, thank you, Sam. And I do hope that you enjoyed learning with us. We are now approaching the conclusion of the celebration. And as you sail off in different directions and hopefully come back, talk with each other, I hope you will continue to stay in touch with the MicroMasters community. Many of our credential holders have started pursuing a master's program at MIT or in one of our 205 pathway programs at 51 universities in over 30 countries. Please visit our MicroMasters website to explore these many options. We wish you all the best. Congratulations again to everyone from me and from all of us here at MIT. And now we will close today's ceremony by honoring all of you individually by sharing each of the names of this year's 1,642 MicroMasters credential recipients on the screen. Congratulations again from all of us here at MIT.
Thank you.